<laughs> and if you did what I told you to do on the DVD, you're probably watching this right now. First off, I want to say hi to everybody else that might be in the room, you know. Hi Robert's mom, hi Robert's sister, hi Robert's brother Sam. Um, and hi Robert's best friend Emma if she's there. You guys are all awesome and... I'm sorry if I come off really weird and awkward in this video. It's because it's really late and I don't want to wake my mom up and, you know, have her come in here and ruin stuff for me. Hi, you guys. How are you guys doing today? I'm doing good. How do you do it? Hearts. <laughs> Getting ready to talk to my husband. Alone. Okay, so if you guys wouldn't mind, I like to have a little private time with my husband, Robert. And if nobody is there, then I'm probably just going to look like I'm crazy talking to a whole bunch of people that aren't there. But hey, what else is new? So, if they're all gone now, then I will continue. If they're not, then I guess, oh well. This is a DVD and it's not going to stop anyways unless you pause it or stop me. So, I bet you're probably wondering why I gave you two necklaces, um, a DVD, a letter, and you already know what the ring is for. Well, the reason is, I kind of felt bad because when I got the ring, it really wasn't that much. And I tried to make sure that it was silver or something that would sustain for a long time. Because obviously I do not have the money for white gold. I was like, oh shit. So I was like, okay, well, since I don't have money, enough money for that, I'll just throw my love as much as I can into it and make it as special as possible. Because this ring that you sent me, it means so much to me that it pretty much changed my whole outlook on life itself. So, yeah. <laughs> I hope you really love your gifts, and I hope you love this gift especially, because I'm going to tell you all the reasons why I love you. So, Robert, when we first met, I can honestly say I was instantly attracted to you. From that very first video that you made me from when we first talked, the shout out one, yeah, that was the cutest thing I have ever seen. So when we started talking more, it was... It was really cool, you know, I was like, hey, he's a pretty awesome guy, you know. I really didn't know what to expect, and then um, when you asked for my address, I was like, whoa, you know. I was like, should I give it to him? Because he lives across the world. And, but, you know, I did, and I was like, okay, let's see what happens. And um, I'm very surprised you actually ended up sending me your ring. And um, it means a lot to me that you did send it. I'm just so baffled that you gave it to me. So, thank you. When all this marriage stuff started, I was kind of taking it as like a friend's thing. But then, as it started to progress, and we started sharing things, and you gave me this ring. I think when you gave me this ring, I think that's when my feelings for you started to become real. And I'm sorry if I'm freaking you out right now, because I'm kind of freaking myself out right now thinking about it. But, um, that's when this became kind of real for me because I'm like, oh my god, he just, I don't know, sent me from what I believe used to be something that he never took off, something worth value to him, and he gave it to me, like, quickly. <laughs> yeah, and <laughs> you can see I'm still, like, nervous, can't you? Um, but yeah, we all started talking, we both started talking more, and as we started talking, I was thinking in the back of my head, like, where is this going? Relationship-wise, like, where is this, is this going somewhere? And I was starting to get myself, like, excited, thinking about where this might be headed, and if this is real, or if we're still just screwing around. I don't know. I'm still confused as if it is or not. Because we do live on two different sides of the planet, and when I say it like that, it makes it sound extremely far, but I know it's going to be difficult on the both of us because this is such a long-distance relationship thing, and um, 
you know, like you said, it's going to be hard just trying to communicate on Facebook and MSN, but I'm sure we'll work it out. One thing I have to note, though, one thing. Remember a while ago when you posted a, like, three-section comment on my page, and you are talking about, you know, how you're going to come over here and we're going to vlog together, like, throughout the whole time, visit the strip, even though we wouldn't be old enough, and, um, you're going to... You made a promise, basically, and you said that you would meet me. Well, um, that's the background of my phone. I don't know if that's creepy or not, but, <laughs> yeah, that really, you, like, you don't even know how much that meant to me when you said that. I'm gonna admit, I'm kind of, I'm very, I take promises to heart, and I hope you really meant that. And from the sincerity in your comment, it sounded like you really meant it, and I really took that, you know, into my heart, I guess you could say. And, um, I was like, well, so, now I'm looking forward to seeing you even more. Even if you don't make it next year, I'm sure that we will meet each other soon. Maybe I can make an effort, hopefully, when I, you know, get enough moolah. So, we'll see. <sighs> Boy, you drive me crazy. I don't know if this is going to be weird or not, but the combination of your accent and, like, your facial expressions and just your whole everything in general just makes me, like, what? Ah, damn. This video is going to be so unorganized and I'm really sorry about that because my mind's just everywhere right now and I'm trying to thank you for one thing and then I just start branching off into a whole bunch of other stuff and I can't seem to focus. And I'm talking about how I can't seem to focus throughout this entire video and I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, maybe I shouldn't have done this late. So basically, Robert Weaver, like you saw on Form Spring, I do like you. Very much so. And it would be nice if we had a relationship together. Honestly, I would love that. I do want to be with you. Um, and I'm sorry I'm totally going, you know, creeper status on you right now, but that's how I feel. And if you don't feel the same way, then that's okay. With that being said, you make me feel like the specialist person in the world, and I can't thank you enough for that. And every time I say I love you, I really do mean it. I love you, Robert Weaver, so much. My heart goes out to you.